the Promethean flame and Satoshi's white paper. During the Age of the Gods, Prometheus, a brave and cunning titan, challenged the mighty reign of Zeus, supreme king of the gods. Prometheus had a deep affection for humanity, believing we deserved more than a mundane existence as cave-dwelling monkeys. He stealthily ascended to the heavens and approached the sacred fire of Mount Olympus. With careful precision, Prometheus stole a magnificent flame, a symbol of divine knowledge and enlightenment. Descending back to earth, he carried the stolen fire as a gift for humanity. With its radiant glow, he offered us the power to control heat, cook food and forge tools. The flickering flame brought warmth to our caves, protected us from the darkness, and empowered us to shape our own destinies. And so the tale goes, enlightened by the fire, we humans began to explore our true potential. We discovered art, science and philosophy. We built great civilizations and embarked on relentless expansion. The flame represents the true essence of the human spirit, curiosity and progress. Though most of us have now forgotten and forsaken this gift, we are stuck under the giant thumb of government protection and oppression with little need to explore anything other than the living room couch and phone screen, our greatest explorations doom-scrolling the Facebook feed. Rewriting the story of human civilization. I can't help but see the link between the Promethean flame and Satoshi's white paper. For those unfamiliar, the Bitcoin white paper was written by a still anonymous Satoshi Nakamoto. A purely peer-to-peer -peer version of electronic cash would allow online payments to be sent directly from one party to another without going through a financial institution. So many of the world's problems are a direct cause of the centralization and control of money. Empires, nations, kings, rulers and politicians have been creating, abusing and breaking financial technologies and money for thousands of years. For the first time in history, we have a genuine opportunity to rewrite the story. Thanks to Satoshi's white paper and numerous innovations in cryptography, we now have a new potential system of money, a means to distribute control of money equally and globally out of the hands of centralized ruling authorities. Extinguishing the Flame During the early 2020s, myself and a friend hosted a weekly crypto workshop in Byron Bay, Australia. It was packed every week, full of intelligent and creative business owners, entrepreneurs, artists and all-round legends from all walks of life. We taught everything from the flaws of our current monetary system to the fundamentals of self-custody. We helped the group set up a MetaMask wallet and cold storage, and by the final week, they were interacting with dApps like Uniswap and Curve. Everyone was super attentive to everything we had to share. It was an amazing group. But there was no denying the main motivation for almost everyone being in attendance. To make some quick money. Come question time, we would occasionally receive the classic Crypto Quora speculation questions. What do you guys think about XRP? Ethereum or Bitcoin? My friend said Shiba is going to 100x next month. Do you think it's a good investment? If you've spent some time studying the history of money and learning about cryptography and blockchain technology, you really start to see the true potential beyond making money. You even start to see the potential of applying this technology to improve things outside of money. Privacy and data protection, healthcare, voting and political transparency, energy, social media, online content creation and the entire internet. This is referred to by Kevin Owoki as turning de yens into regens or taking the green pill. Here are a few of the frustrations shared by many. It is depressing that financial speculation has taken center stage over the technology and potential we have to truly revolutionize money and so many other industries to create a better world for everyone. It is infuriating that internal arguments between different blockchains, cryptocurrencies and teams become toxic and detract from the progress of the bigger mission. It is criminal that mainstream news, existing financial institutions and government regulatory bodies take the speculation aspect and use it as ammunition to create FUD, fear, uncertainty, doubt. What the fuck are we doing? We have been given this precious gift, this Promethean flame, and we are blasting it with the fire extinguisher. The vision for Prometheans is simple. Keep the flame alive through the creation of content simplifying finance and the true potential of cryptography, blockchain technology, a new money and a new internet. It would mean the world to have your support behind this vision by sharing these essays and following along.